One of my favorite things, of course, is uh, sketches that are written uh, that do not make it to the show. Oh, yeah. uh, and some of these ideas maybe uh, have not even been written. Yeah, uh, that's true. Do you well, have some favorites? Even the ones that have been written haven't really been written. They've been, like, really half thought out. Uh, what is the Rosetta Stone sketch? This was when Donald Trump hosted. I, I pitched him an idea that he weirdly didn't want to do, um, where he was the spokesman for Rosetta Stone Mexican. <laughs> so he would teach you phrases you could say to someone who was Mexican, like, you're going to build the wall. Oh, I see. No. No, usted are, you know, whatever. <laughs> usted are. What was, what was Polite. heroin <laughs> AM? That was non-drowsy heroin. <laughs> It was, uh, yeah. it was from the makers of Cocaine PM. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was a sketch that was not popular in middle America. <laughs> Some sketches are just good ideas. It's yeah. not even funny. They're yeah, that's just, a great that's product. That's just a good product. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you want to you wanna take care of them, but you also want to yeah. get some stuff done. What was, uh, where you, it was your idea the origin of Screw the Pooch? Yeah, I wanted to do a sketch about the first guy to ever said the phrase, screwed the pooch, <laughs> because... <laughs> An intern one time messed up a coffee order, and I was like, hey, I didn't order this. And he goes, I'm sorry about that, Shay. I really screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> and I said, what was that? <laughs> and he goes, screwed the pooch. It means I made a mistake. And I was like, no, man, it means you had sex with a dog. <laughs> and you should probably stop saying that in a workplace environment. <laughs> so I wanted to just dig into that guy. <laughs> Because I'm sure he probably had sex with a dog one time and just kept pretending that it was a mistake that everybody else makes. Yeah, that's like the coffee thing. <laughs> yeah. We all make mistakes. Oh, you messed up the coffee? Now who has sex with dogs? <laughs> still you, Gary. You're still the only one that's done that. Half Viagra? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's a fun one. Well, we kept seeing these ads. I don't know if you've seen them for single packs of Viagra, where it's like a weird husband, and it's like, we're going on a trip with my wife, and he's like, oh, I'm pack one single pack of Viagra. Like, he's like, we, I want to have sex, but I don't want to carry the whole bottle. <laughs> right. You know, so on vacation, you can be like, you get one shot. Um, but we wanted, to, we wanted to do ads for half packs of Viagra. And if it was, you didn't even want to have sex, you just wanted to make it look a little bigger. <laughs> like, if you knew you were going somewhere, like, you had a doctor's appointment. You know, you just... Or like a tailor or something, you know? You want to, got to use, like, a stadium urinal. You want people to be... <laughs> No? Yeah. Whatever. Uh, I still sorry? say we should have called it Viagra al dente. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first black guy to boo Jackie Robinson? <laughs> all right. <laughs> first of all, it was February. Oh. And <laughs> I wanted a black history sketch. And yep. I was like, who's the first black guy to boo Jackie Robinson <laughs> for a baseball play? There had to be one. I mean, he, I'm sure he had an arrow before. Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah, censor said no. <laughs> really? Yeah. I, 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 my favorite sketches are, like, really racially charged. Yeah. Like, Chris Hemsworth hosted, and I wanted to do a sketch where the Avengers save the day, but in the process, Thor accidentally kills an unarmed black teenager. <laughs> 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 Did he, he didn't think that was on brand? Yeah, he said it wouldn't help with tickets. <laughs> I think it would have helped with tickets. I thought it would help with tickets too. Uh, see, you had a. It was it a CVS game show sketch? I had a, a, a game show that was set inside of a CVS that was called uh, "Who Works Here." <laughs> That's a good Contestants one. Contestants had to buzz in and try to decide: is that you know an employee or a drifter in a red vest? <laughs> And then, uh, I, this one you guys should know, Cecilia Jimenez was a character that uh, uh, Kate McKinnon played. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I, f for the, the actual news story and why she first played him, there was a painting of Jesus, right? Yeah. That someone repainted. Yeah. And then, the re like, to retouch it, and then it looked like, like a, a howler monkey. Basically. It was, like, the worst repainting job of all time. Yeah. yeah. And, she, and then we did one, I think, where she did that Cristiano Ronaldo statue that was insane, yeah. too. Or the Lucy one. It was, like, a Lucille Ball where she looked like... <laughs> the snake character from Beetlejuice. <laughs> and uh, this someone talked about, because they saw, I don't know, do you guys saw the animatronic Trump at Disney World? Yeah. But it was something where she was, right. she was the one who designed that. It, <laughs> it basically looked like a way worse John Voight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Melty Voight. Uh, so what is the pressure like? Obviously, every week uh, on SNL, there is a certain amount of pressure. You guys have one of the all-time greats, Will Ferrell, this week. Yeah. Some would say, oh, my God, cruise control. But you have to feel pressure. 
Yeah, you do. You feel a lot of pressure because everyone already knows he's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if it's not good, it's our fault. Really. <laughs> yeah. We're the yeah. one that's the problem. So yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Hopefully Will can step up to it. <laughs> Uh, really carry us through with a cowbell, too. <laughs> well, uh, I, uh, I especially am grateful you guys came here tonight because pretty much you're going to leave here and you're going to go right upstairs yeah. and, uh, and right through the night. I can't wait for Saturday. It's always such a pleasure to see both of you. And really Update has been uh, so fantastic this year. Keep up the great work. Oh, Congratulations thank you, on the Globes, too. You were fantastic. Yeah, you're thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We love uh, should we? Wait. Wonderful. Joe's. Joe sent me jokes for the Globes, which was very nice. And, uh, and like, a day before the Globes, you mm -hmm. had an idea that oh, yeah. was unproducible. Oh, yeah. yeah, I wanted Andy Samberg to play the creature from The Shape of Water. <laughs> and that he was in the audience and he was falling in love with Seth as the show went on. And the, the second time you saw him, he was in a bathtub <laughs> on stage asking Seth to get in the bathtub. <laughs> And uh, it was great because it was written like someone who had never been in show business. Yes. Yeah. That's how I try to approach every idea. <laughs> and, and you had the good uh, sense to do like good, smart stuff. No, no, no. I but I did like the idea of like just constantly like in the middle of like a speech, like Oprah giving her speech, <laughs> Andy being like, I need water. <laughs> I think that was what the evening needed. You definitely should have booed Oprah. That was the best. <laughs> Like, what? Get Seth back out! <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for being here. 